So I woke up this morning and the first thing I said to myself was, I can't look the way I feel because why? I feel like a bag of poo. <laughs> so we're going to do something about it. And the days that I feel like this, I keep my makeup simple, like literally the simplest, you know, the whole one eyeshadow type of thing, because I want to uplift my mood. But I don't want to spend ages doing this. But I want to feel good. <laughs> I want to feel better than I actually feel. So that when I look at myself, I'm a little perky. I'm a little happier. I look brighter, you know? Because right now I feel like... I feel like poo. <laughs> so, um, no more jibber-jabber. Let's just... Let's just get something on. Okay? So, if you feel the way I feel... Or if you're getting ready for the day, let's do it together. All right? <laughs> let's get the show on the road <laughs> so i'm using a double-ended brush from revolution this has a brush and a spoolie side and also my brow gel from ofra i will continue to use this product because it's amazing so the palette of choice is the watch the queen conquer palette from p louise and i'm using the more neutral side of the two if you're not familiar with this palette this palette has two sides to it. One has pinks and purples. The other one has yellows, greens, orange, brown, which is what we're going to use today. To prime my, um, my lid and also to clean up underneath my brow, I'm using the P. Louise Room of Five. And I haven't actually done anything to my brows in quite a while, so I probably should, but why? <laughs> And then for my lid, I'm using a darker um, shade from P. Louise, and I believe this is Rumor 10. Um, and it's quite a dark brown because honestly, I want to keep this look as simple as possible. So the first shade that I'm using from the palette is called No Escape, and I'm literally packing that all over the lid. Now, this is the darkest shade on this side of the palette, and it's a beautiful chocolate brown. And it actually um, packs on quite nicely like the color does intensify as we pack it on as you can see to blend out the edge of that i'm using winner winner which is a nice like an orange brown shade and literally that is all i am doing on my eyes because honestly ain't nobody got time for my face i'm using the laura mercier hydrating primer because i want some hydration on my skin i kind of want to give my skin some love i'm feeling a little bit dull so um, this kind of puts a little bit of, it, it kind of makes my skin feel a little plump, um, to be honest, and it brightens up um, how my skin looks just generally. I rambled through that one, but I apologize. <laughs> to conceal my dark spots, I'm using the Laura Mercier Concealer. It is a full coverage concealer, so this pretty much does a lot of the heavy lifting. As you can see, once you let it set a little bit and you blend it out, it just blends so effortlessly and it does cover cover the, the dark spots on my face. And then for my foundation, I'm using the Laura Mercier Tinted, Tinted Moisturizer, Tinted Foundation. Everything will be linked in the description box. Um, and I'm applying this all over. As you can see, it's quite light. Um, you can build this up, but I kind of wanted a lighter coverage because I was enjoying the way my skin was looking so i didn't want anything too heavy so this one was perfect for this look and then once that's done i'm also going to use the um uh, pat mcgrath concealer again this time to conceal underneath my eyes and give it some brightness a little bit as well so i'm using the pat mcgrath concealer to conceal and then i'll go in with a lighter concealer to just brighten up my under eye as I said, this concealer is pretty full coverage, so um, I would say a little bit goes a long way, but as you can clearly see, I was loving it, so I was packing it on. But I did go in with a Tarte concealer just to make sure that I've got some brightness. While that's drying and while I'm blending that out, I do want to say that the P. Louise palette is gorgeous. I feel like um, we need to see more of two-sided palettes because... Let's be honest, um, how many times do we use an eyeshadow palette? But 
ever since I've had this palette or started using this palette, I've been wanting to use it more because it's got two sides that I really, really, really love. So you've got the browns, you've got the greens, you've got the yellow, which is nice, bright and fun. Plus, I love greens. And then you've also got like the really colorful side. So rather than having just one massive eyeshadow palette with different colors, I really love the way she split it into two sides to really focus your mind into what colors you want to, you know, you want to use for that look. But it might just be me rambling or just me just sharing my thoughts openly, but I kind of want to see more two-sided palettes. And once that's done, um, eye pencil applied, I just blended out the edge of the eye just to make sure that it doesn't look like it just stopped in one place, you know. To bronze my face, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Mocha Mami. I love this. It's nice and warm, goes well with the eyes, and it just brings some more definition to my face. So I'm applying that with a, a nice fluffy brush. This one is from Decipher Me. Is it? Yes. It's the it's white. It's just yeah, it's white. Decipher Me, and I I actually really really love this brush. It's really nice and soft. And then I am using the Revlon Sophia liner to create like a little line, um, so that when I put on my mascara, you kind of see some definition. I really love these eyeliners they're very easy to apply they glide on quite nicely and they dry matte you can still go over with an eyeshadow if you wanted to give it a little bit more or blend it out like I'm doing but they do dry matte so I just wanted it to blend a little bit more with the brown and then I'm going in with the Morphe um, eyelash, eyelash, eyelash primer to prime my lashes first and then I'm going to go in with the 5D mascara for Makeup Revolution. I've said this in a few videos already. If you are over, not that I am, but if you're over wearing lashes and you want to give your your normal lashes some definition, definitely invest in an eyelash primer. This one's £10 from Morphe and I absolutely love it. I enjoy it. It's pretty nice. Uh, but again, not that I'm over lashes. It's just, you know, when you're getting ready for work, the last thing I want to fiddle with is a pair of lashes. There are some times that I feel like I'm going to lash it out, but then there are some times I'm like, girl, oh, just get the primer. I can't. <laughs> and then for blush, I'm using the Trixie um, blush palette. And I love this blush palette as well because the shades in it, you can use it to highlight like I'm doing today and it's very beautiful and very soft you can also use it all over your lid i feel like this is a really good one and done type of palette you know you can use it for your face and for your eyes for my lips i'm using the pat mcgrath lipstick in mac McEnemy. McEnemy? McEnemy. as i said everything will be listed in the description box so yeah <laughs> i love this nice vampy color perfect for the winter and this is the final look. I know I rambled through this, but um, honestly, you guys, I that day was just a little bit tough for me. So I'm really happy that I did record this look and shared how I was feeling. And I hope you enjoyed your day or you're enjoying your day, whatever time it is. And I hope you enjoyed this look. And if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Turn on your notification bell so you know when next I release a video. I remember God doesn't like ugly. Be nice to one today and black lives will always matter. And I'll catch you in a future video. Bye. <laughs>